Hello, fellow star seeds. I'm Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message for you from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for May 12, 2024. And the title of this message is The Best Way to Start Your Day. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have an enormous amount of respect for humanity. We know that you chose very challenging paths for yourself in this lifetime of ascension. You could not help but face these challenges at a time when the entire multiverse is ascending because everything must come up from inside of you and from the shadows. You are all being given a chance to look inside of yourselves and many of you have started that process by looking outside of yourselves by seeing the corruption in others and in institutions and systems that you once put your trust into. You have uncovered something that exists as a part of the human experience. And if it's out there, then it's also inside of you. You like it when we tell you that in relationship to manifesting what you want. In other words, when we tell you that everything out there that you desire is also inside of you, there's a warm, comforting feeling that washes over you. But when we are talking about that which is dark, that which is negative, that which is oppressive, and we remind you that if it's out there, then it's also inside of you. That doesn't go over as well. We all live in a holographic universe. There is no separation, and every part contains the whole. Therefore, it does no human any good to simply point a finger and call out those people, those organizations, those systems, those institutions that are doing harm and doing harm on purpose. Every single person who becomes aware of that darkness must acknowledge that the darkness exists with them as well and that it is coming up and triggering that person because there is some healing and some forgiveness that is needed within that individual. You can't just lock them all up and be done with it because the consciousness that created those circumstances will still exist, and you are there to elevate the level of consciousness there on earth. And all of that begins by doing it within yourself. You are the point from which everything is being created and experienced. Therefore, it must be up to you to change. And when you see something out there that you don't like, turn the lens on yourself and ask yourself how you can do better, how you can become more of who you really are as a being of unconditional love. Now, the tricky part of life on earth that we were referring to earlier is how. How do you do it? How do you show up in the world as love when there is so much out there that is vying for your attention that is not love? To put it a better way, that stuff or those institutions or those people have the volume of love that they are truly turned down to such an extent that they appear to not be the love that they truly are. And you all know that you can do that from time to time. Something can get you to such an extent that you are not your best self, that you are not your most loving self in all situations. And knowing that does make it easier for you to forgive the others, especially those who never received any love from anyone else in their lives. Imagine what that must be like. Now the way that you show up as love is by cultivating the love that is inside of you in every moment that is easy to do so. If you are bored and you don't know what to do, turn your consciousness inward and find the love that you truly are in your heart space. Breathe into it. Magnify it and fill your whole body up with it. Then you fill your energy field up with it and then go out in the world as love. We highly recommend that you start your day by doing just that and that you periodically remind yourself throughout your day that you are there to be love and that the love that you are to be always exists inside of you. It is just a few moments away from being active within you, and you have the power always to activate it. You don't have to wait until some pet or some person comes along that is extremely lovable. We know that you can do this because we see more and more people doing it all the time, and we get excited every time we see someone choosing love. It is the answer. It is what we all are. And it is what is needed more than anything else on planet Earth right now. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. 
What a wonderful message from the Arcturian Council. I absolutely loved it, but I've been saying that a lot lately, right? This lovely message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. Please stop by there and see everything that Daniel has to offer. He's a very hardworking guy. Also, if you'd like to watch Daniel actually channel the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, you can do so right on his YouTube channel, which is simply his name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to post the words to this marvelous message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and it's always such a deep honor for me to be able to bring these marvelous messages to each one of you. Please like and subscribe if this message spoke to you in any way, and don't forget to create a great day. Mm -hmm.